Ellie's Lion Meter by Sandra Levins. When Ellie grows up, he wants to fly. He loves airplanes and rockets. He creates colorful drawings of spaceships, which his mother frames and hangs in her office. Sometimes he wears swimming goggles and pretends to be the pilot of a fighter jet. He logs he logs hours of flight time with his co-pilot, Duffy. Ellie's first mate and best friend, Colton, travel travel through the galaxy in customized space shuttle. They are strong and brave, <clears throat> and they always make it home in time for dinner. But Ellie has a problem. The problem started when the mailman delivered the super deluxe lie meter. It looks like a regular clock, but whenever someone stretches the stretches the facts by a bit, lights flash, dials spin, and outspits a ticket that shows the level of truth. Ellie knows the difference between pretending and the real facts. Pretending is what he does when he orbits the earth or battles or battles sea monsters, and the real facts are what actually happens. But sometimes telling the real facts can be hard for Ellie. And now that the Lyometer is in the house, his problems have just supersized. The Lyometer can detect a fib lie, big lie, giant lie, or a whopper, which is another word for a super duper lie. On Monday, when Dad, when Dad Ellie asked Ellie to pick up the building blocks that were scattered on the floor, he immediately replied, Madison played with them last. The, light, the lights flashed, the spinner whirled, and out shot out a fib ticket. On Tuesday at bedtime, Mom asked Ellie if he brushed his teeth. He said yes. The lie meter puckered up and sputtered a lie ticket st stuck out like a tongue. Friday morning, Mom was packing up cakes for Madison's preschool class. Did someone eat one of these cupcakes? I'm sure I had 12. Madison shrugged. Ellie wiped crumbs off his mouth. Er, not me. The lie-o-meter clicked inside and sighed. Mom picked Mom picked a ticket up off the floor. Looks like a big lie to me. Ellie, Ellie said, Boy, I hope these tickets are recyclable. We're getting a, quite a lot of them. After that, Ellie felt mad. He was sorry he sneaked the cupcake in the first place. Unhappy that he lied and disappointed that he wouldn't get get a cupcake after dinner like the rest of the family. Stupid lion meter. On Saturday, Ellie and Colton were tossing a football in the living room. Ellie knew full Ellie full Ellie knew full well he wasn't supposed to play catch in the house, but mom was in her office, so who would know? Until crash, Mom called out what happened, Ellie. Duffy knocked the lamp over. Oh no, Mom said. Duffy, I love you. I love you two pieces, but you need to stay outdoors from now on. At first, Ellie was happy that his keep out of trouble lie seemed to work. But wow, what a whopper. He couldn't believe the lie meter didn't catch it. That night, he missed Duffy. At the full, at the foot of his bed. In the morning, Ellie finds mom and dad in the kitchen. Mom, dad, about the lamp, and he tells them the facts as they really happen. The lie mirror nearly explodes as the spinner truth, as the spinner hits the truth mark and turns out a big oversized truth ticket. Dad says, Ellie, we understand. No one wants to get in trouble, but by lying, the wrong person or dog may get the blame. That's not fair. Mom says, we're really proud of you for thinking about this and speaking up. Your bravery and honesty has been noted. Now, let's try to stick to the facts for the next 100 years or so, okay?
Ellie knows that that means forever, and he agrees. Hey, hey, Captain. Mom picks up the troop ticket and finds these words printed on the back. She reads out loud. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, make the truth, make the truth, this family focus. The lyometer makes a terrible grinding noise. A siren blares, lights flash, and the entire face of the meter spins around and round. With a final kerplunk, the common stops. Ellie inches closer. His eyes widen. Whoa, exclaims Ellie. The meter changed. How'd it do that? Beats me. But I like but I like that I like that truth idea. And I don't think we need a meter for that, Mom says. Mom links and opens the porch door. Duffy scrampers back into the house.